In this video, we'll balance the equation for copper 2 sulfate plus ammonium phosphate. So we use a bit of a trick to make this much easier. We'll start out by counting up the atoms on each side of the equation. We have one copper and then this sulfate, this SO4, it's a polyatomic ion. We have it here and over here. So we're going to count that as just one thing. We have one sulfate ion here. The ammonium ion, again, we have it here and here. So we have three ammonium ions here. And then for the phosphate, here it is once again. So we have one phosphate. On the product side, we have three copper, one sulfate, two ammonium ions, and then two of these phosphate ions. So you can see this is a lot neater, it makes it go really fast. So let's start off by balancing the coppers. We could put a three in front of the copper sulfate, one times three, that's three. We've balanced those. And then we have one sulfate times three. We have three sulfates. Let's balance the sulfates. We could put a three in front of the ammonium sulfate. So the one sulfate times three, those are balanced. And then we have two ammonium ions times three. So two times three, that gives us six ammonium ions. Over here, if we put a two in front of the ammonium phosphate, we have three ammonium ions times two. So that gives us three times two, six. Those are balanced. And then the one phosphate times two, that's balanced and we're done. This is the balanced equation for CuSO4 plus NH43PO4. Do note that everything will be aqueous except this copper two phosphate. That will be a solid. That'll be our precipitate there. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.